from Isle of Souls, Carl Darlow, and you're watching Newcastle Fans TV. Hello Newcastle fans TV, I've just literally got in from the match, um, this is off the cut, I haven't seen any of the highlights back, uh, Newcastle United 3, Ipswich 0, it looks a fairly comfortable scoreline, um, well, let's jump on to it, we're going to jump straight away to the lineup um, that we've got for you, so let's have a look at this lineup that Newcastle went with, so Newcastle, um, any major surprises there? Um, not massive surprises, slight surprise that Nita not been playing at right back, so Yedlin come in, and then obviously the centre backs were Lascelles, who had a great game today, and Clark had a solid game. Dummett left back, Dolo kept his position in goal. On the right hand side, it was Richie. I thought he would have brought in Atsu, but he went with Goofran on the left. Uh, Colback, who come in in midfield, they had a solid game. Shelby, who had more of a quieter game today, and he played in the centre midfield role. Went with Perez. In the number 10 role, there was man in the match without a shadow of a doubt. And then he went with Dwight Gale up top. Right then, so let's begin with it. So, we've got a goal straight away, literally straight away. I've, I'm, obviously, I'm doing the uh, fan cams uh, tomorrow and also uh, the Magic Day experience as well. And I couldn't record it because it was happened so quick. And uh, we scored literally straight away. Uh, Perez, uh, <laughs> literally straight away, it was a great, great finish. Um, it's about time that he, he he got off the mark, so to speak, because we're kind of struggling. I remember it was Dummett had the ball on the left, and then he crossed it, and I think it was Goufran flicked it on, and there was Perez unmarked to score. It was a great finish, absolutely booming, 1-0 one off, 1-0 up. Um, a, couple of, a couple of half chances that went on during the game. Ipswich hit the woodwork through Leon Best on the corner. Poor marker, didn't pick him up in the cannons, uh, excuse me, off the bar. Um, and then also they had a threat with Lawrence when he just tried to curl one. Um, later on in the first half, Newcastle a lot of half chances, you know. But after the more or less the 35 minutes, the game started to, to come a bit of a lull. It started to drop a little bit. No action up until half time. I was happy to just to get it half time one nil up, you know. Checking the score lines. There was no goal scored in the championship because obviously I had one eye. Personally, me, I had one eye on Norwich. Um, and then also. Coming at the second half, you know, um, no changes were made. We finally got that second goal by Perez, which I got on video, so I'll keep an eye out for the uh, match day experience for that. Uh, so that was on video. Great, great, great touch, great finish. Perez, in particular, had a great game. We'll get on to him in a minute. And then also, um, Ipswich didn't really offer much in the second half, I have to say. You can see why they're struggling to score goals. They've only scored two in the last six now and failed to score in five out of the six. Um, and then... A massive, massive round of applause to Ipswich fans as well. Uh, they got in the spirit of things. Despite being 2 0 down, you know, you brought loads, a few thousand, 3,000, 400,000, 3,000, 4, to the ground. And they joined in with the Sir Bobby Robson chant as well, so I've got here for you. So fair play, fair play is for joining in the chat there, that was m nice to see. And Ipswich are also having a Sir Bobby Robson day on the return fixture after the new year as well. So that'll be nice to, uh, to see as well. And then the third goal comes straight after that chant where Richie took it down really well outside the boot. I missed it because I was tweeting 40, because uh, I spotted 40 in the crowd, but I missed it. So <laughs> thanks 40, uh, I blame on you. Uh, so yeah, so we won 3-0, it looks comfortable, but in large chunks of the game it was pretty dull. Pretty scrappy, a lot of long balls by Darlo kicking it long. Um, but all in all, Newcastle got the three points. That that was the most important thing. Um, looking at the league table, Newcastle now three points clear at the league. Norwich got beat, which was nice to see. Our Preston, who we've got a double header against as well. Preston and no mugs as well. They are literally just three points off the playoffs. So, playoffs. Uh, so that's going to be a tight, tight game on Tuesday. Expect a lot of changes to be made by Rafa's side. We'll do the preview on that probably uh, Monday. Uh, so yeah, three points clear. Huddersfield got a last minute winner, which uh, would have been four points, but they've narrowed it down. They go into second position. So all in all, now it's starting to look a lot more rosy after Newcastle this run. We just need to keep it going, you know. Got a question for you. If you, if you, would you take a defeat in the league or the cup against Preston? Just let's just say we lost one of them. What would you take? For me, I'll take the defeat in the league because I want to say a cup run personally. I know you want to get in the Premier League, of course. That's priority, you know. But Newcastle could afford a could afford a defeat. Anyways, that might not even happen. You know, I'm just speaking in 
theor theoretically hindsight, you know, if that was to happen. Um, Noble mentions, I think the Lascelles had a good game. Um, uh, Clark had a solid game. Um, Shelby had a quiet game. But the thing is, this is where you find out the, the true quality. If you star player, because Gale, um didn't really have a great game. He'd done a lot of off-the-ball movement. Um, with that penalty shot with Gale, I couldn't say because at the other end of, end of the ground when he was played in, was he one-on-one? -on -one. He should have just finished it instead of trying around the keeper. If the referee is not going to give it, and I haven't seen it, so I don't know the answer to it, he's got to book him if he has dived. He's got to book Gale if he's dived. And if not, that should have been a penalty and a red card to the keeper because I haven't seen it back. Uh, he had a quiet game, but man of the match has to be Iosi Perez. Outstanding. Iosi Perez got the two goals that will grab the headlines. Not just that, he was working a lot more hard off the ball as well. He was chasing down a lot more faster. Um, so that, looking at Modi Army, sitting on the bench, watching that on, he now knows he needs to up his game. We know he's been saying that, that he hasn't, he's been out of favour. But I think Diarmi will probably come in the cup game and he needs a performance. Otherwise, he's risking of sitting on the bench. Perez, outstanding. Mitrovic will probably get some game time. He'll come on in the last... Uh, 10, 11 minutes, you know. Uh, didn't really do too much and get the ball much. He was frustrated because he wanted crosses in the box. But all in all, um, Ipswich were poor. It was just that short burst of quality between the two differences which won it. And we'll go top the league, as I mentioned. Absolutely delighted. I'm going to head out. I'm going to get changed, go on the drink. And there'll be loads more videos out tomorrow, so keep an eye out for them. Uh, thank you very much for watching. See you later.